If you're a homeowner in Edmonton or planning to become one, I'm going to be sharing an update on the latest market stats from April 2024 for single family homes. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video so you can take advantage of some hidden opportunities whether you're thinking about buying or selling. In April, there were 1.13 months of supply available in Edmonton, which believe it or not, keeps things pretty firmly in a seller's market again. What does that mean? Months of supply tells you how many months it would take for all the homes currently on the market to sell, given the average sales volume. Four to six months of inventory indicates a more balanced market. Less than four months means there's not a lot of inventory available, which can drive the prices up. More than six months of supply means that there's a lot of homes available for buyers to choose from, which can drive the prices down. The average price for a home in Edmonton is around $516,000. The average is up $488,000 from last year and $25,000 from last month. With the spring market, we are still seeing prices increase. We are still seeing multiple offers on many of the homes last month. As a buyer, you need to prepare yourself in a seller's market. When looking for a home, you may end up in a bidding war with other buyers. Make sure your lender has all the paperwork they need and make sure to talk to them that everything in it, everything is in place if you find yourself in this situation. Moving along, the average list to sales price ratio was 99.5% in April. That simply means that homes were selling for 99% of list price, very close to list price. That's up from 99.3% last month and up from 97.8% versus last year. It will be interesting to see how May is going to turn out. Now you may be wondering how long it takes to sell a home. It took 34 days to sell a home here in Edmonton. It is up from last month where it took 38 days on average, up from last year where it was 42 days. So if you know you're planning to sell your home, it takes a shorter time than it has in the past. It will be interesting to see how many days it takes to sell a home in May. If you're thinking about buying real estate shortly, a five year fixed rate is 4.89% with less than 20% down. Make sure to contact your lender to discuss options that work for you and your family. In summary, when you look at April's market stat, it looks like things are gonna stay in a seller's market for May. What does this mean? Buyers could be competing with other buyers and having to pay more than list price for a home. Buyers may need to look at homes a bit lower in their budget because of multiple offers and being able to put in a competitive offer. As a seller, if your home is priced right and in good condition, you may see multiple offers on your home and you may receive offers offering more than list price. So the bottom line is whether you're buying or selling, your situation is unique and a general market update should be taken with a grain of salt. If you want to know what the homes are selling for in your neighborhood or you're thinking of buying, send me an email. I will always give you the straight goods so you are informed to make the best decision that's right for you and your family. Otherwise, feel free to check out my other videos and I will be back next month with another market update.